I've spoken to a lot of pharmacists over the, over the past weeks, and a lot of them ex have expressed their concerns about the fact that a lot of frustrated customers have been attacking them. And some pharmacies have resulted into hiring security staff. Now, what I want to know is what is the government going to do to ensure that these frontline workers feel safe um, and they're not subjected to abuse whilst they're actually doing their job? Yeah, well, I, I, I'm really glad you picked out pharmacists um, because I think, you know, pharmacists are a critical part of the NHS family. And because they work in the community, they're often closer to the communities who they serve. Uh, and they're part of the NHS. So we've put extra funding into uh, pharmacy, an extra £300 million because of the uh, challenges that they face, and in particular, high demand for medicines, so to help them with their cash flow. We're also working with them on PPE, and not only on, uh, on, on having the equipment, but also making semi-permanent changes. So, for instance, putting glass screens up so that there's a lower uh, amount of um, uh, of transmission and lower risk uh, within pharmacies uh, and supporting them to do that. Uh, and, and so far, uh, you know, pharmacies are an absolutely critical part of our, of our, of the NHS team. Thank you. And Taiwo has a background as a pharmacist, actually, which is why it's important that she, she asked that question. 